Hello, my YouTube friends. I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I'm just going to teach you on how you can reinforce the opening that you are seeing here. This is a wall and that is the opening that we have. Now, this method that I'm going to teach you can also be applied on your slab. So the procedure is the same. In this lesson, I'll show you on how you can place the U bars and these diagonal bars on this wall and if i just change maybe to consistent with colors you can see that we have those u bars and diagonal bars if you want to learn on how to reinforce the actual wall all right make sure that you check the card above you see that we have the reinforcement on the wall here if you want to reinforce the wall make sure that you check the card above here or just check the video on wall reinforcement on my channel and proceed and learn on how to place the reinforcement on the wall but in this lesson we'll focus on the u bars and these diagonal bars which are usually placed on the opening of the you know on the wall or even on the slab okay so without wasting time let's get started in this lesson now before i proceed i just want to ask anyone who is interested in joining me in a course in revit architecture revit structure or robot structure nice professional please make sure that you check the links in the description now, what I'm going to do, as I've said, I'll focus on the U bars and the diagonal bars. So I'll go ahead and remove all the U bars and diagonal bars so that I can show you step by step on how to place these bars. All right, here we are. We don't have the U bars and also the diagonal bars. So let's proceed and see how we can place these, you know, bars. The first thing that you need to do, of course, is to select on the wall if you want to start with the diagonal bars. So I'll select on the walls. Of course, I mean the U bars. Sorry. If you want to start with the U bars, select on the wall. And once you do that, you need to come on top here under the reinforcement. You see that we have path reinforcement. Click on the path reinforcement. You see that you are going to have these draw options. And make sure that you go to properties so that you can see the structural path reinforcement as you can see from here. Now keep on going down the first option additional offset leave it don't change it the layout through we have a number of options here first of all let me place the case there and drag it like that and now i can even you know place my case there and just drag it like that you see that the second one we have the maximum spacing fixed number and these other options if i just click there okay i can see the other options all right so just make sure that you pick maximum spacing Skip this one, go to the layers, and you see that we have alterna or, or alternating bars. If you want to add those alternating bars there for the U bars, you can activate this one. You see that these other options get activated, and you can specify the lengths for each alternating bar. But I don't want to use this option, right? Because I want to have the same lengths for, for the legs of my U bar. Now, if you go to bar spacing, this is where you just need to click inside there and type the spacing of your choice. If I go to the face, we have exterior and interior. Pick exterior, that is fine. Even if you pick interior, it will still work. Just pick exterior. Primary bar and hook type, don't put the hook there. Primary bar length, now this is the length of the U bar there. So if I want, maybe I can put you know, 600 there. Primary bar shape, that is the brow, the ribbon shape browser that you want to use. Of course, for the U bar, I want to use 21. Now, what you are going to see here will be dependent on what you've loaded as a template and also the, the region where you are. So I'll just pick a uh, ribbon shape browser, you know, 21. Okay, that is the shape code. If I go down here, make sure that the start hook for the primary bar, leave it at none. In the primary bar type, now you just need to click here and pick the bar type that you want to use. You can see that the bar types that I have are similar to BS, you know, BS standard, Euro code, South African, Egypt, and those which were maybe British colonies, of course. These are the bars that you are going to see, including the Euro code. But if you are using a different code, Make sure that that is the template that you load here and you're going to see those bars appearing here. So I'll use 10T. I think that's okay for me. Right now, once you choose those options that you want to use, you come here and you just need to go to draw and pick the line somewhere there. And now you can just pick, you can start with any face. 
if I come this side, you see that I'm able to snap there. I'm snapping on the other side. It's okay if I want, I can even hold the shift and the wheel on my mouse or bit like that. Now I can just pick that point. Maybe I want to start with this side and make sure that I pick the last one. Just click there. Now to escape, just click on modify or escape on your keyboard. You can see that that is the direction of my, you know, the, the, the bars, the U bar. If you click there, it will be flipped inside, but we don't want this. Just make sure that you maintain the way it is. Now, the distance from there to there is the 600 that we have. If you want to reduce this one to 500, just type there and click on apply. You see that it will adjust. So I'm happy with what I have here. Just click on the green check mark. And now if I just zoom in here, you see that we have that bar, but it's in the wrong orientation. Make sure that you select the bar, then space bar on your keyboard. Just click on space bar once again until you see it in the correct position. And from here, you see that that is the bar. It's correct. Now you can see that it's not so visible. So I'll select on it and you go to view visibility states. Click there and make sure that you activate. Make sure that you check the view where you are. This is 3D view. So activate the view and uh, view and obscured under the 3D view. Click OK, click outside and you see that you have the bar there. Let me do the same on top here, but I'll be a little bit quick because you know what to do. I'll select the column once, I mean the wall once again. Then go to path reinforcement. This time I will not check anything here because it will remember the previous settings. You can see that everything is intact. Then I'll click on line there and make sure that I pick that point and uh, drag it up to that point. Okay, perfect. Now you can see that it's flipping downwards. I'll just click there so that it's in the other direction and click on finish. Zoom in there. You see that it's in the wrong direction. I'll click on it. Space bar until I see it in the correct way. Okay, it's right there. Then make sure that you go to view visibility states, but make sure that you select it first. Click there, then view unobscured, click OK, and see so you have it here. Now I can copy this U bar on the other side and also at the bottom by just selecting on the U bar there. Then once you select on it, you see that I'm not seeing the tool that I want. I'm looking for propagate. What you have to notice is that if you are, you know, within the, you know, the, the structural path reinforcement system, okay, whereby you can go back here and change these options, you can't see the propagate feature. So all you need to do, once you place it there, just remove the system. This is still parametric. You can change the spacing. For example, I've just removed that path system whereby I can't change those options from here. But I can still change the spacing from here, maybe 200. Let me bring back 200 like that. And now, once removing that path option, you have the propagate. So I'll just click on propagate. And for propagate, you just have to select the target, the, the source face, which is this one. Then hold the shift and the right wheel on your mouse and select the destination face. Just like that, you can see we have those paths and click on finish if I want. I can proceed and pick this one, but let me just click on finish. So I have that one. Then I can select that one again and propagate. What is the target? I can select that face. Let me pick this bottom one now. I'll click there. You see that it's going in the other direction. That's not correct. I can cancel this one. Let me try this one on top. I'll select the bar on top there. Then make sure that you select the area, the path reinforcement system and remove the path so that when you select this one, you are able to maybe modify a bit the spacing. I'm just remaining with one. So really, I don't have to worry so much about this one. I can click there, then path reinforcement. And then I'll just pick the line and ensure that I pick uh, this corner here, this corner and that corner. Then escape by clicking on modify. Make sure that you flip it down there and click on finish. And you see that we have that one. Make sure that space bar on your keyboard. Make sure that you select the bars, then space bar on your keyboard until you see it correctly. You can see we have it there. Now go to visibility states by just clicking there and make sure that if you are obscured selected, then click on apply. 
and you see that we have all the u bars on all on on all the four corners of this opening all right so this is how you place your u bars now let's proceed we place you know those diagonal bars all right so what i need to do i just need to either open an elevation or a section okay in plan view or in elevation this is where you can apply those diagonal bars so first of all i'll go to project browser then i'll go to level one all right i know that the river i'm working with is right here so let me just cut a section somewhere here so that i can view this wall and also that opening i'll go to view and section let me just place it somewhere here i'll not cut it but i just want to, sh to see you know that side there click there then i'll select on this one right click and go to view just like that because i want to see my let me just click the outer box drag it here i want to see this opening if i want i can even go maybe to shaded just like that and you can see that we have the river there all right now what i'll do i'll select on the wall just make sure that you zoom in here select on the wall then once you do that this time come here don't click on path but just click on river click on river again once you do that we have two options under the placement methods we have expand to host and by two points use by two points then go there and come to placement plan all right under placement plan we have near cover reference and far cover reference we'll start with the near cover reference then go to placement here and make sure that you pick parallel work plane. Now from here, you can even see that I'm able to see the cover. So make sure that you pick it by the dot there because that is the cover. Now, if I want, I can even watch there to make sure that I'm at 45 maybe. All right, so 45 is right there. I'll just click there. Now, make sure that you click on sketch. Oh, okay let me just escape once select this bar and click on edit sketch then i can select on that bar and simply drag it maybe i don't want to reach the top there i'll end it up to somewhere here all right then click on finish now before i even click on finish i have to set this bar okay maybe that's something i never mentioned if i go to maybe properties let me first of all finish it all right then select this bar okay zoom in there select that bar you see that this bar is 10t now let me also go to river shape there just click there make sure that you pick the bar that you want okay so set this before and before you even start placing the bar so i'm using river shape zero zero then the river once you click there with this one you can now see what you want to use maybe again you can pick what you want depending on your design i'll just put 10t and that is the bar if i want let me even drag it a bit up there then you can just click outside you see we have that bar now if you want to see the actual bars not as just single lines you can change to fine level of detail and that is the bar now in this case what i'll do i'll not place this bar one by one i'll just mirror this one by selecting on the bar then you simply go to draw axis and you can mirror it from the center click that point and that point you can see we have it like that now i'll hold control hold control and select this bar and that bar then i'll mirror it by the center of this face just click there to draw axis that is mirror draw axis click there and i'll pick it from this point and click that point you can see that i have mirrored my bars and this looks great now remember this is on one face because i said near face if i just go to my 3d view okay you see that i have that bar on the nearest face okay because i need two bars the other one should be on the other side so if i move it something like that you see that this bar is on the near face which is this one as you can see it is near my face so i have to place the other one okay perfect so i'll go back to this detail now i have to place the bar within the same location i'll select on the wall all right so let me just pick the wall just like that then i have to go to river 
This time I'll make sure that you specify, you pick the riba shape, this is the one, and make sure that you counter check here, I want to use 10T. Now, instead of near face, click on far cover reference. Okay, it was near cover. Actually, I'm using near face because when you are detailing in structural design, we use near face and far face on the wall. But in Revit, that's, you know, equivalent. The near face is equivalent to near cover reference and also the far face to far cover reference. So I want to use the far cover reference. And now I can just stress on top of this one. It will be on the other side, so I don't have to worry. Sometimes, let me show you a different method. Let me click on this one. Single, let me change maybe fixed number. And let me change to two. I think so. I don't even have to be adding two bars. I just need to change fixed number two. I think this should work fine. All right. If you want, you can overlay it on top. Change to the now the, the far cover reference. But I'm just going to change here. Fixed number and maybe let me have two. Okay, I've changed this one. Let me select now two hot control. Select this one. Single, maybe fixed number. Let me have two. I think I can't do two at the same time. So I would, I guess I have to do these things one by one. Fixed number, just drop it so that we can have two. Then select this one. Click there, fixed number and reduce the quantity to two okay all right whatever i done i have to change this one to two okay i think it it should work fine just click there and now you can see just click outside let me just zoom in there you can see that we have those two bars okay on each face I hold the shift and the wheel on my mouse try to open to see that we have those bars on the opening and this is how we you know, we place bars on these openings. Now, you can see that the bar is not so visible. All I need to do is to just select everything, filter, check none, make sure that you uncheck, then click on structure ribbon to select everything, apply OK. Then I need to go to view visibility states and make sure that you check that box and click on OK, click outside. And perfect, we have the ribbon. The U bars and this diagonal bars on this opening. And if I just change this one to maybe consistent with colors, you can see that we have those bars in color under this one. All right. So this is how you place your enforcement on the opening. This could also be on your floor. Now, let me simply remove the section box. This is the model. And you see that this is where we place, you know, the reinforcement there you can do the same on any opening on your project so thanks for watching see you in some upcoming lessons